So Amsterdam, uh, it's it's really amazing being here, and it's like Amsterdam has been my second home. Like, uh, it's the first city I ever went to in Europe when I was a teenager. It is the the home of the first club that I had a residency, real residency at Trell. I mean, only in Amsterdam can you like walk through canals and this beautiful water and only at AD really that you walk everywhere and see everyone that you've known over a decade of hanging out with people who have just been hanging out with. Actually now we've become professionals and give lectures, which is very odd. Uh, considering like, it's funny like seeing people giving a lecture that you met in a toilet at a rave. Rush Hour Records um, is, I think, one of the most fundamental establishments and institution in underground dance music. Without Rush Hour, we would be lost, I think, in, in many ways, because their vision and idea and cultivation of electronic music and deep, real electronic music is a bar, is a bar above none. It's, just, they, it's so high, and, they, and they're so deeply passionate about that, in like a, almost like a militant, like amazing way. So Amsterdam. Uh, it's uh, the home of a lot of my very dear friends who I've actually met via trial or Rush Hour Records. You know, Holland, as in generally, is the head of dance music and Amsterdam is its capital. So we're right now in the capital and the home of electronic music culture and the crowds that you have here, so patient, so understanding of dance music, so knowledgeable, that it makes it the perfect place to have our only true academic conference. So last night, I got to go to this amazing club closure to launch the uh, my DJ Kicks uh, CD. Uh, which is which was amazing. Just to be part of that legacy of DJ Kicks is really really incredible. Um, yeah, so the party was good. It was like really, it was actually out of control. Like I, I I've really had this great pleasure of being able to play in Amsterdam long since I played last night eight hours. Uh, Craig, Craig Richards, who is my favorite DJ, um, came and gave me some support, support for the last three hours. And it was just like a complete blast. You were the one. So my, you know, I've been asked this question a lot, like what was your thinking or like process behind DJ Kicks? And I, I kind of hate making mixed compilations because one, it's out of context. It's like subjective and critical. And often it's like, it's like what ground breaking work can you really do with a mix CD? It's like, it's a mix. It's something that you should listen to. It should be background music. It's not like you're at a club experiencing it. It's just something that's on that you can listen to and you hear a mix. You want a selection of songs that are like good, they're classic, they're like, they make you think of it and it's on, and it's cool. And it's like not like a, not like something that's like disposable. And I want, just wanted to make a mix that like you could listen to before you go out or in your car and it's on and it like by not being overly like bells and whistles and functional 
I felt like making a mix that was just really, it was records I've been playing and I had around my house, and I was like, it's a good song. <laughs> Electronic music is really an amazing uh, culture, you know, not only it, is it a, a place that is culturally far more progressive, but also through electronic music and through dance, it's a very transformative experience in your life because of electronic music, because of our culture that is in art. It changed who I was as a being, as a person. The other day I was, I was doing this panel um, and it was about the power to the artist, you know, like the power that we all have as people in the forefront of culture and with the you know loads of followers and stuff and and it, the, the question was do we have a responsibility to not only entertain but to inform to spread ideas basically outside of music you know not um, not just using their platform and their power to um, to just like promote themselves, you know? Then whose responsibility is it to actually just say, guys, there's a lot of things going on in this world that we need to fucking wake up about. Why are we not talking about it? And why is Kim Kardashian's dress so fucking important? The power of social media is very strong and it is actually the first, um, I guess, level of information that reaches a lot of people. I uh, choose to use that power or that platform uh, to spread messages of issues that are actually concerning the world and um, could maybe do some good. I mean, besides promote my records. Our culture is about the celebration of life. And if we want to continue li living <laughs> and live in a world that's beautiful, then we need actively, like, work towards a goal of making that utopian life that we want to live in. We have an audience of people who don't normally see those issues, you know, like I read the news every day, mm. you know, every day I read the newspaper. So I know the things that are going on in the world, but a lot of youth have given up on that process of gaining news, uh -huh. of trying to be involved in that process or the political process. <laughs> One thing that's really amazing about Amsterdam uh, dance event um, is not only the fact that it's a considered perspective of our culture uh, with the lectures, everything, but there's also uh, another element where they're trying to take part in the city. And I was very fortunate to be. Uh, I worked for a charity the other day, um, started again by IDNT. Um, that called 10,000 hours. The original hope was to just get 10,000 hours like service towards um, just like good. <laughs> we fed the um, homeless. We just had this really great time uh, making a meal for some people less fortunate, some people that may that are homeless, in fact. And it's funny, because we all took some time and sat down and hung out with everyone here. That these people are just like the rest of us, you know, with really big hearts and beautiful souls who just want to be accepted into society, accepted as normal people. And it's something we need to be more aware about and more, more loving and caring, you know? Uh, 
there's a there's an Amsterdam dance dance event cook off that happens every year. I, I am a three time champion, <laughs> um, and and now a judge, uh, and it's just like a really amazing experience. So yeah, it, it's just really great to be in the game. You know, it's like it's such a fun thing, especially like when our whole life and culture is like clubs and like clubs and clubs and clubs and like <sighs> fucking sick of it. You know. I mean, the competition was really stiff this year, which made it a lot more intriguing. And it's just a riot. I mean, it's a really good day out. For people who are so stuck, always in clubs, in that same conversation, it's a chance for us to do something different. And I think food is that center point that all of us really love, you know? It's like people forget that we do other things and that we're, you know, in eating and, and food is actually a big part of DJing because you travel all the time just go to restaurants. <laughs> So we all try to be like part-time chefs, and it's just, it was just a really fun, a really fun experience. So, uh, so Kolsch won tonight, and out of the five years I've been here, three years even that I was the champion, I think it was the best dish that's ever been in in the arena. <laughs> in just really Michelin-level food, like, and he really showed that he. He can he can win this. I mean, if he wins next year, then I have to come back in the competition, which is a bit scary. We'll have to have a battle, a battle of the ages. Circo Loco, it, it is family. I mean, the whole premise of Circo Loco and the Circo Loco brand and like the DJs who play there is about family. It's very Italian in that way, you know, like the representation and the idea of a close family. You know, we're all friends. We all respect each other and our, everyone, everyone has their own niche talent, you know, and everyone who plays at the club is very talented. They're like incredible. And the thing, everyone gets paid across the board the same amount of money. And it's just like, it's, it's so amazing to be part of an institution. And it's so, so deeply amazing to have been invited to grow to be part of such a great family which is actually a really good group of friends <laughs> And uh, no, it's it's incredible. I mean, I love playing for them in Ibiza. I, I I just I'm just so fortunate that they've that they've supported me. But it's become my home. It is my home. That is my resident club. And I I cannot say enough really to my pleasure to be part of that. All night we're like joking and we're like tonight we have fun. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,